looking outside from the Tarpon Lodge where uh, we got a quiet start and a couple high level clouds today. That's going to be about it. So on this Halloween, we are looking at a warm one. Temperatures in the upper 80s this afternoon, and we're starting off about three to four degrees warmer along the coast than where we were 24 hours ago. When you step outside, this is what it looks like. We've got readings in the mid to upper 60s inland for Glades and Hendry County, and then you can see along the coast we got 72 in the Cape, 73 in Naples, and then later on today, heat is back. 88 degrees. It was warm yesterday. Uh, the breeze isn't all that much to help cool us off, and we're looking at our temperatures there in the mid to upper 60s. So today we are looking at uh, temperatures closer to our record of 91 than we will be to our average 89 yesterday afternoon, roughly after 230. Very, very warm. And as far as our rainfall not existing here today, that's good news for the trick or treaters. But boy, we need it. You see for the year, we're over 13 inches behind. And since October 1st, uh, we're over an inch behind. So we're going to end the month with yet another month with a deficit. Rain is over on the East Coast and South over the uh, Florida Keys and especially over the Straits. And later on today, we'll see some passing clouds as the wind starts northeast and eventually north here. Uh, but very dry, very warm all the way through trick or treat time. And our winds are less than five miles per hour right now, except Marco Island with a reading of six. And as we go through tomorrow, the wind will pick back up. Just not today. We're looking at it near 10 later on this afternoon. So what that means for all the little trick or treaters, our sunset at times at 646. So that's when it gets dark. It's go time and you can see the uh, temperatures. They're still around 80 as we will stay warm, dry and clear through nine o'clock. As far as the setup, we are watching a cold front through the southeast area. Low pressure north of the Bahamas it will start to move away as this cold front moves through. So today warm out ahead of the front and as it slides through here, we will see a change on Wednesday. It's going to shift the wind. It's going to bring in lower humidity. And again, this afternoon you can see how dry it is across the state. But for Wednesday, here comes that front. It's going to pass through dry, uh, not enough moisture there to kick up showers or storms and quickly on Thursday there the wind starts to move out of the northeast, but we'll see at least two days Wednesday and Thursday with our temperatures near 80. As far as the tropics, only one area the National Hurricane Center is watching and that is in the Caribbean now south of Puerto Rico as we have the potential for an area of low pressure to develop as it moves over towards Nicaragua and Honduras south of Jamaica. The chance right now is at 70% over the next week. We'll get an update at 8 a.m. this morning. At as that next tropical update comes in. Uh, we are very late in our season here. We have one more month that officially ends at the end of November. As if you're getting down the water, the winds out of the northeast 10 to 15 sees one to two moderate chop as the winds will pick up later on today and they're going to be breezy as we look ahead. Matter of fact, let's get right to the seven day forecast. Breezy and cooler here Wednesday and Thursday. That wind will continue to gust 20 to 25 miles per hour to start the weekend. As we warm back up, we'll get in the upper 80s there. We'll spend a couple of nights there upper 50s to low 60s for Wednesday and Thursday morning.